Welcome to Farm to Family Cooking Series. My name is Gil Rodriguez. I'm a chef instructor at Skadi Valley College. Today we're gonna work on a beet kohlrabi and snap pea salad. I have a kohlrabi here. Um, you look this guy and you're like, I don't know what to do with him. And I'll show you real quick. Kohlrabi is in the brassica family, which means that it's a mix in between like a cabbage and a broccoli. It tastes like a broccoli stem and uh, it's fairly easy to work with. And I'm going to show you today what to do with it. Um, we're also going to use uh, some of these beautiful golden beets from Ralph's Greenhouse. And we have some snappies here. And if you haven't looked at our, our previous video, we have a video on a green salad with a red wine mustard vinaigrette. We're going to use a leftover dressing to dress this salad, okay? Um, first thing we're going to do today is we're going to work on the things that we have to cook. In order to make a salad with all these hard vegetables, we have to cook them to a certain point to where they'll be okay to eat, or not like they're going to do anything bad to you, but they'll be pleasant to eat and they'll be soft. For this kohlrabi right here, we're going to simply just trim the ends and you'll notice that it's a pretty hard vegetable, almost going to feel like a turnip. Okay, and they come in all kinds of different colors. You'll see uh, purple ones and kind of reddish pink ones. So you see green ones, but they're all white in the inside. Okay, and let's get rid of this. And then to peel it, you could definitely use a peeler if you like, or you can peel it with your knife. Sometimes the skin is a little tough, so I don't like using a peeler, but if you're not comfortable with your knife and you're comfortable with a peeler, you can peel it like so. Or we can just take, simply take our knife and just cut down all the way around it. All right. And you should, you should end up with a, with a kohlrabi that looks like so. Hopefully yours won't run away like mine. Okay, here we, we could either cut it in cubes, sticks, slabs, however you want. The idea is that we cut them into small enough pieces that they cook fairly quickly. I have uh, salted water coming to a boil, and while that's happening, I'm going to cut this guy. I decided to go with sticks today just for the, for the shape of them, so they're aesthetically pleasing. And I'm just gonna cut slabs like so. and then I'm gonna turn it around and cut it into sticks. How big the sticks are is kinda of up to you. I guess the, the, the biggest thing is that they're somewhat even. If they're somewhat even, they'll cook evenly, which is what we're looking for. Well, like that. And we'll end up with uh, pieces like so. My water is to a boil right now, and I'm going to put my kohlrabi in there. And while that's happening, we'll work with the peas. I have some peas right here, they're beautiful. They're super big, you get some of these in your box. And you have to go ahead and uh, take the string off of them. And it's as simple as just grabbing it and pulling it and stringing them out. Okay. Once you have them all like that, we could either leave them whole or we can cut them. For this salad, I've decided that we're going to cut them in, on, into thirds. So I'm gonna go like that. And you'll see some of the piece actually start falling off. And don't get rid of those, put them back in there. They're super sweet. This is gonna give a good crunch to this salad. And you can cut them straight like that. You could cut them in a half like this guy right here. You'll be able to see them just like that. We just cut these guys in thirds and add them to the bowl. All right, and that was step one. So it's almost done. Okay, well, uh, while this were cooking, I cooked some beets. Now, beets are probably the most intimidating vegetable 
for people to cook. And the thing about beets is that they're actually really easy to cook. They just take some time. We went the fast route, and all I did was I trimmed the beet, and by that, all I mean was I cut, I cut the edge, greens and the other edge, and I just cut it straight in the half. And I put it on water, and I boiled it for 30 minutes. All the beets are not the same size, so they might not cook at the same rate. So how do you know if a beet is good? Just introduce a fork to it, and when you lift it off the water, it should fall off the fork. If it falls off the fork, then the beet is ready to go. I left them in their water, and they're almost cool. And at this point, we're going to peel them. Notice I did not peel them until after they're cooked. They're much easier to peel when they're cooked. And this is very simple. All you do is grab your beet, make sure that your water is not too hot so you don't burn yourself, put it on a towel, and just simply pull the skin away. And you'll have a perfectly peeled cooked beet. And we'll do the same with the other one. Got this guy right here. I got my towel. I'm just gonna rub the beet with my towel. And it'll be perfectly cooked and peeled. Okay? Get rid of that. All right, we can get rid of this pot. And the beets are now ready to go. All we have to do is slice them. Whichever shape you like is good. I'm maybe going to cut them in half so they're about similar size of the pea. So um, usually when I'm making salads, what I think about is when somebody's going to grab it with a fork, is it going to be comfortable to eat? And, and that's usually what the size of the, of the whatever vegetable I'm cutting is going to be. Okay? And then we can uh, simply just take this guys and throw them with those uh, peas right there. And now our kohlrabi should be ready to go. Okay, how do we know if the kohlrabi is ready? Pretty easy. We just grab one, I will taste it. I like them a little crunchy. Some people like them a little bit more uh, mild. I think that's a happy medium. We should be good to go. Always make sure you taste them before you pull them out. Don't just assume that they're ready. And every time that we're gonna make a salad, we wanna make sure that our vegetables are nice and cold. So. We're gonna remove the kohlrabi from here. And I have a bowl with ice water and a strainer. And the strainer is just gonna hold my vegetables so they don't get mixed up with the ice. So I can go straight from there onto my salad. Just gonna pick this guys out of here. All right, that looks good. Then we're just gonna let this kohlrabi sit here for about two minutes or three minutes. The idea is uh, to stop the cooking process and to make sure that they're cold so when we put them in the salad, they end up nice and crisp. All right. There's our cooked kohlrabi. We're gonna introduce that to our salad. I'm gonna mix this up real good. This is a great salad for making, I like making more than enough for one meal and just keeping it in my fridge and then I, it's, it's a good go-to. We're gonna shake our dressing real quick. And just like we did in our, our other salad video, we're gonna pour some of the dressing onto the bowl, and then toss it onto the vegetables. Yeah, anytime that you're, uh, that you're adding dressing to a salad, you want to uh, 
dress the bowl and then just fold your vegetables so you can lightly coat them and not overwhelm them. Here we don't have any greens, so being able to overdress this will be pretty hard, right? But like if you're doing something like this, which you could easily cut up some lettuce and put it in here, you could overdress it if you poured your dressing straight onto the straight onto the vegetables. So this guy is pretty much ready to go. We're just gonna put some of these guys right here. I like a little black pepper, so we just go like so. And there you have it. Beet salad with kohlrabi and snap peas. Thank you.